G'day guys, it's John from RefractiveGarden.com and I'm back to see how I'm going with this um, top bar hive now. Last time I did a video, <coughs> I'd shaken, well I got the queen from off the frames from this side into this side where the bars are. So now I've got to check on and see how she's going. Hopefully she's laying in the combs that were up this end and she hasn't found her way back to the other end. Hopefully the queen excluder's done its work. So we'll get the top off and we'll have a look at how they're going. Just give them a bit of smoke first and hopefully my other videos have been sort of long so hopefully this one won't be so long. Um, hopefully I will find exactly what I want to find in here which is the queen laying eggs up here and it'll be nice and quick. Let's have a look. Rightio. Got the hive tool. I'll um geez, they might have done some work. Jeez. The um the bars seem pretty well stuck down, that's for sure. Okay, just in really tight, that's all. Probably we've had a rain, a bit of rain the last few days, so it um could just be that they were a bit wet and that made them a bit tight now. I'm not feeling very confident because there's hardly any bees up here. It's just a few bees on this comb. We'll have a look. No eggs in there. So that is disappointing. No, so whatever reason they're working this comb they're not really putting anything in it they're just I think they're just cleaning it out basically they're not really doing anything with it at all and the Queen's not anywhere to be seen there so we'll go into the other side and we'll see what they're doing there and I'm also going to have to do something to stop her being able to get back and I'm pretty sure I'm thinking just looking at the bees moving backwards and forwards now she's probably just able to walk there's probably enough gap underneath the queen excluder for her to walk through so I do have an idea of what I can do I've got some um, sawdust that I can put underneath where the queen excluder goes and that should keep her in um, in this side of the the, the hive but the first thing I'll have to do is find her again and get her back in there and actually I won't worry too much about packing that up because if I find her again I'm going to be pulling it apart again anyway I hope they haven't made too much mess in here for me to clean up again but I bet they've made a start on it Yeah, look at that, they've already started reattaching comb onto these bars. Get off there or it's going to hurt. So what I'll do is I'll just move all these combs out of the way and um, then I'll go through the um, frames, try and find her again and get her back. Or I'll, I'll get some sawdust ready and then I'll find her, have everything ready to go, have the queen excluder in place with the, the sawdust on it. And um, yeah, have it ready to go so I can shake her back in with all that comb that they've rebuilt off here. Crazy stuff. I 
They certainly are very busy and it hasn't taken them very long at all to rebuild. That has been built in a week. So it's certainly a very strong hive, very busy. Anyway, I'll get rid of this comb off here. All right, now what I'll do, I'll quickly go and get some sawdust and I'll be back. Right here, now I've got, I've got some sawdust here that I got from a local timber mill and I know that all that is in here is um, just hardwood. But they've been making um, pickets and stakes and stuff for builders, surveyors, those sorts of people to use. And they're just, they're just um, untreated hardwood, so this should be fine. There'll be no problem with toxins or anything like that. So. I'll um, get some smoke in there, it'll just chase them away from that area. Oh yeah, got it clear. Just don't want to bury them in a whole lot of sawdust. And hopefully this isn't too fine, but it's just going to fall straight through. And that seems pretty good so far. So I'll get some in that side, get some over here as well. Any mess I make, they'll, they'll clean that up, so it's not too big a deal. But I just want to stop them, or stop her, moving back across. So there, that's good. I'm happy with that. And I'll actually show you what I've done here. All right, so you can see there, either side of the queen excluder, I've got that sawdust stacked up there. So hopefully it'll stay in place long enough to force the queen to... Um, to um, get into this bit here, and I'll, I'll give you a look at what the honeycomb looks like. So you can see there, there's a honeycomb there, so I use that, and I'll get those other two bits and try and attach them, if I can. And then hopefully she'll set up residence there. So. Okay, so what I need to do is this won't be so hard, because I haven't got those two great big bits of comb to go through. So I'll just move some of these bars back a bit up here. Leave those bits with the comb on them there. And this one back so I don't step on it. And, okay, I'm looking for the queen again. Oh, is she on this side? I really want to find her. I do want to know that I've put her back in this side again. So I really want to find her. a bit of a bugger. So I really do want to know that she has definitely gone across. Now I'll shake this light in here. I'll check for her again. Now what I can do is check all the bees in this side and make sure that she's not in this side. Certainly good brood patterns here. There's brood of all different ages, so she certainly is doing her job. Right yeah, it's not in there. Let's check these frames once more. She is not on this frame. Oh. Off here. Actually, a wasp in there. They don't belong in there. And the wasp have probably just taken the opportunity while the hive's been open to get in there. 
and it's just been boiled by some bees so hopefully they won't be coming back. Normally the bees would only have to protect the, the entrance holes but while they've got it open like this they've got to protect the whole top which makes it a bit harder for them and the wasps like to get the, um, the honey. Anyway, let's keep looking for her, she's not down there is she? It's definitely not ideal, it's not what I wanted. Um, what I am going to do also is replace one of these corks in the front. Yeah. Use my smoker while I do that. Righty oh. I'm gonna put a cork in this entrance here. Um, and I might put one in this entrance here as well, which will force the bees to come in through these entrances and hopefully force the queen to use this side. It'll confuse them for a while, but they'll get used to it. Now, I'll do... I'll move this along here. Push the bees off. Oh yeah, there's one bar in place. We'll get these in place so that hopefully she is in here. I'd love to be able to find her. Oh, they've already cleared that sawdust away. Oh, that's right, it's still on the other side, that's the main thing. I'd love to be able to see her, so I know that she's in there. Once we've got them all sealed in, then I'm just going to check these frames once more, just to see whether I can... Just to see whether I can find the queen there or not. Hopefully, hopefully I can't find the queen here. Shouldn't be too hard to find her if she is here. Okay, now that's all closed off, so this, she shouldn't be able to get out of there if she's in there. Right here. So, have a look here. Now she's gonna be obvious, there's much less bees now. So I shouldn't have any trouble finding her if she's on these, any of these frames. Let's have a look against this wall here. I doubt she'd be there. She'll be wanting to lay brood. Okay, she's not on that frame. Is she on this frame, maybe? And of course, if I do find her, I'm going to have to open up the swarm side again and shake her into that side and then close it up again. Okay. She's not on that one. So I'll just lay that one there for now. And check this one. If I can get a hold of it. Okay, is she here? Can't see her there, there's hardly any bees on this side here. You see on this side. Okay, I'll put this frame back. Move this frame across. Alrighty, now I'll put all these other frames back on and close them up. Alrighty, so hopefully we'll get these guys closed up. I'm pretty sure she's in this side now. Hopefully with that sawdust there, she won't be able to move across. And once she starts laying brood in those combs, oops, once she starts laying brood in those combs, the bees will start working on extending those combs. And we should get some, 
we should get them moving out of these. I'll probably still store honey and stuff in these. I'll still build a bit of comb there. But once this becomes their brood nest, that will be where all the attendant bees and that sort of stuff will, will prefer to congregate. And certainly once all the broods hatched out of the year, that will be where they will congregate because they'll need enough bees to keep the brood nest warm, which being still only the beginning of autumn here, keeping the bees warm won't be such a big deal. Um, the days are still warm enough. The nights get a bit cool. Um, and not that bad. Probably, I know you're talking mid-teens Celsius. Um, yeah, mid to high teens, so it's not too bad. Especially when you've got places in the US and Europe that are still, even though they've just started spring, they're still getting snow, so I'm not going to complain about mid to high teens. It's not that bad, especially for nighttime temperature. So, get the last of these bars on here. back here and then this one here I've got to create a space to get it in there okay and just slide it across the other way you lot Rightio, that's got that all locked in. Rightio, so that's the lid on. Anyway, with um, with me blocking these two entrances off, it's going to cause a bit of havoc for a while. The bees will eventually learn to use these entrances here, which takes them into the side where the swarm is. So hopefully, hopefully I've got the queen in this side. That sawdust will keep her in this side, and she'll start laying brood here, and then they'll move all their activities up to this end. Also, like I said, with these holes being here and making them go into this side of the hive, then that will force them to come in this side and hopefully that's where they'll that's where they'll um, concentrate all their activity there. So, fingers crossed it works this time. Um, like I said, if it doesn't, I'll get her shaken into this side. I'll make sure I positively find her, get her in this side get those fans in a nuke so they can't use them anymore and hopefully and leave them with enough attendant bees so that hopefully they can um, make some queen cells and we might get a split out of it so anyway that's it for now and until next time happy productive gardening bye